The play wide trail out of the Gun Bunch Strong Nasty in the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook is one of the best ways that you can attack man coverage in this game. The way this play is going to work out for you is you are going to consistently be able to attack every single style of man coverage for a big, big play. Now, if you're watching this and you want to learn more about the Colts playbook, I've got an entire ebook on this uh, playbook in the Patreon. If you want to check that out, the link's going to be down in the description to go sign up for it. For just 10 bucks, you're going to be able to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and anything new that we drop while you are a member. So again, just 10 bucks. If you want to sign up, the link's going to be in the description. The setup for this play to be able to beat man coverage is we're going to drag the slot receiver, we're going to flat the outside bunch receiver, and we are going to wheel the running back. Now, the purpose of the flat route, specifically as it pertains to man-to-man -man coverage, is to allow the running back to essentially get absolutely isolated against man coverage, as you can see there, and give himself a chance to be able to burn the man coverage over the top of the defense. Now, the other cool part about this play is this drag route. For whatever reason, um, this drag route and tight end trail route are also pretty consistent at being able to get separation against man coverage, specifically coverages uh, that are shaded over the top. But even if it's like a standard cover one robber or something like that, if you throw this drag, because the rat catch animations are so good in this game, oftentimes you're going to be able to hit this drag or the tight end route for uh, pretty big plays. Now, another beauty is this post route over the top. It's really the main purpose of calling this play. The post route over the top is going to do a really good job of attacking man coverage. And again, deep middle third zones in this game, they don't do a great job of defending post routes once they cross the face of the player. So you see here, once he kind of gets across that deep third's face, the deep third doesn't really track the ball well, and we're going to be able to throw it over the top. So what are they going to have to do to stop the wheel route and the post route? Typically, what you're going to see people start to do is they're going to throw this defender in a deep half. Now, if they throw that defender in a deep half, oftentimes they'll throw this defender in a deep half, and then they maybe play like some press man-to-man -man coverage, like a cover two man style of man-to-man. -man. Now, the problem with cover two man is this is going to make it so that Got a couple different options on the play. Uh, the first option is this tight end trail route. Oftentimes they're going to use her that, but that is really the best option. If they're going to play you in a really aggressive uh, style of man coverage where they're shading their coverage underneath, then you do probably want to hit this, um, this uh, tight end trail route because it's normally going to be open. Now, again, you can hit this drag as well. Just be a little, care little bit more careful with the drag, but if he has a step, he has a step. He's pretty much always going to win against man coverage out of this formation. So your drag route's going to win. Your tight end route's going to win. It's going to put their user in the middle of the field, and their user is going to have to basically make a, uh, a difficult decision because their user is sitting here, and we've got to decide, are we going to guard the trail route um, to the tight end, or are we going to guard the, um, the drag route, right? Another route that they have to worry about, though, because of this running back wheel, you're going to see that that running back wheel, before that deep half can get there, there is a window to throw that against man-to-man, -man, specifically against shade and underneath man-to-man um, -man coverage. We'll show that to you again here. So watch what happens with this deep half. Because the post route from the left side of the field is coming into the grid of the deep half defender before the running back is, what will happen is that deep half defender he will not recover on the running back wheel until, honestly, it might even be too late for him to recover onto the running back wheel. Your opponent's going to have to basically use outside thirds to be able to properly defend this. So we'll show this to you again. I'll actually try to like, kind of force the running back route. Now, when you throw in the running back wheels this year, you do want to freeform them up and to the outside. So you see here, if I just wait on this, I actually kind of got bumped. The linebacker just bumped. But as you can see, there's that window uh, that I was talking about to throw this. This time we'll man up this guy on and just to kind of make it a little bit more obvious of what you're going to see uh, in game. But what we'll see here, we'll show you this the running back on a wheel. The hot routes and the button delay in this game are still a great feature. Uh, but anyway, you see right, see right when he cuts up there. Now you see I can free from that up into the outside. If they don't have universal coverage right there, that's a big hitter um, against cover two man. So what they're probably going to do is they're probably going to you know, start to shade outside. They're gonna to start to get really adjusty with their man-to-man -man coverage. And what that's gonna do, the more adjusty they become, the more likely you're gonna have this post route over the top. So it would probably look something a little bit more like this, where he kind of fans out to go guard the running back route. 
and then you've got the post or uh, or that tight end uh, on the trail route coming over the middle of the field. Now this play is not terrible against zone, and really what you want to do when you're facing a zone defense, you might not want to be in this play specifically, but if you find yourself in this play, simply with, especially with set feet lead coming into the game now, you can throw these running back wheel routes a lot better than you were able to at the beginning of the year without set feet lead. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say they're playing cover four, cover three, really anything. This flat route is going to pull out all of the zones. And then you're just going to basically pass, not free form it, but pass lead it down into the inside where only your running back can catch the ball. That is going to make this a really, really good concept for being able to beat both man and zone coverages. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get my entire course,